Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a get ready with me video. I just felt like sitting and chatting a little bit. So I created this bright neon orange coral eye look using this new palette that I got from ColourPop. So if you wanna see how I did this makeup, then just keep watching. So I got this new ColourPop palette, the Orange You Glad. It is so beautiful. I just love these warm colors so much. And I posted this on my Instagram stories and a bunch of people responded and were like, please tell me you're gonna do a makeup look with that or a review or something. So I was like, let me do a get ready with me. I have some stuff that I just kind of have been wanting to like vent about a little bit anyway. So I figured let's just play around with this palette, do some makeup and chit chat a little bit. But first, the most satisfying thing ever. So I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on my lids as a base. This is actually the ColourPop concealer too. I'm just gonna tap it out with my finger. To be completely honest, it's like 10 o'clock at night and uh, I just felt like filming. So I'm gonna do my makeup and then go take a shower and just wash it right off. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Zested. It's the lightest shade in the palette and I'm gonna just dust that all over my lid. It's like a really light peachy color. And then I'm gonna take the shade Creamsicle and put that in my crease. So yeah, I wanted to just talk about social media. It's just something that's really been on my mind a lot recently. I just feel like I'm constantly struggling with comparing myself on social media to other people, feeling like I'm not good enough, feeling like I'm not doing enough, hating it, but loving it at the same time. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm always going back and forth between like wanting nothing to do with social media and not wanting to spend a lot of time on there and then wanting to be on there and feeling like I should be on it more and I should be taking advantage of it more and I should be like more active, posting more. Like obviously I'm not, like I don't have a huge following on YouTube or Instagram or anything like that. And that doesn't bother me. Like I love the followers that I have. I enjoy doing YouTube. Like I just do it because I like it. It's not a, like a popularity contest for me or whatever. Then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Rise and Grind. And I'm gonna put that in my crease as well, but I'm gonna put it just like a little bit lower and concentrate it like more directly in the crease. But yeah, I think that we all struggle with comparing ourselves to other people. I mean, obviously we all know that like Instagram and social media, it's all a highlight reel, you know? Like people for the most part aren't posting their struggles. They're not posting photos of themselves when they wake up in the morning, you know, looking like a hot freaking mess. They're not posting pictures of their bad skin and their bad hair days. Like everything that they're posting is curated. So many people, when they post a selfie, it's like it actually took 50 of those selfies till they like got the right one or the perfect one that was good enough to actually post, you know? And then after that, they put it through Facetune and did all this editing to it and smoothed out their skin and all this stuff. And I'm not necessarily saying there's anything wrong with that. Like, I definitely use Facetune. I, I'll smooth my skin out a little bit if I'm like having some texture or something, just to make the photo look nicer. But it's just, it's tough because even though in the back of my head, I know all of this, it's hard. Like sometimes you see these photos of these perfect looking women, like these Instagram models, these influencers, and you just feel not good enough. You're like, wow, they are so beautiful. Their lives look so amazing, so fun. It looks like they have so much money. They're always going out and doing these amazing things. They have this great, perfect relationship. They have all these friends. It's just like, they seem so great and it seems like their life is amazing. No one's life is really that perfect and that amazing. And so, I don't know, you see that and you just feel inadequate. You feel like shit about yourself, um, or at least I do. And then as someone who does social media and like does YouTube and is like somewhat of an influencer, kind of, I feel like the pressure that most people feel of like, wow, look at these people, they're so much prettier and so much cooler and whatever. But then I also am comparing myself to them in the sense of like, 
they're so much more successful. They have so many more followers. They're doing so many more brand deals. They um, are so much more consistent than me. Like the quality of their content is so much better than mine. Stuff like that. And like, I'm just always so hard on myself and always feeling like I'm not doing enough or what I'm doing isn't good enough. And I always feel like I could be so much more successful and I could be doing so much more if I put in more effort. But then at the same time, part of me just doesn't want to. Like I really enjoy living in the moment. I don't want to be one of those people that is just always on Instagram and always worried about taking photos of everything I'm doing and everywhere I go making my boyfriend like stop and do a whole photo shoot and take all these pictures of me for the gram. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to have to like fake or stage a moment just so it'll look good for social media. Like I never want to be that type of person and I think that's why like I'll have those periods where I'm just really inconsistent. Like I'm sure those of you who have been following me for a while, there have been times on YouTube where I go months without posting anything. And I feel like when I try to take Instagram pictures, like I'm just so awkward. Like I don't know how to pose, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And then I'll take pictures and then I compare them to other people. And I'm like, this doesn't look good enough. This looks really stupid. I look awkward. I feel awkward. And even with my videos too, there's that pressure to have like the perfect quality to look perfect myself. I don't know. I just get so sick of social media. Like it's all just so fake and it's so frustrating. I just feel like everyone all looks the same. Everyone wants to look like the freaking Kardashians. They freaking piss me off too. That's a whole other thing. When are they gonna stop denying getting plastic surgery? Like, is that a joke? Seriously. Kim and Chloe's asses? What is that? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but no. They have these tiny little stick arms and thighs and then just these huge diaper asses. Like. Whether you think that looks good or not, it's not natural, period. Like, who are they trying to fool? And I have nothing against getting surgery. Like, do you, whatever makes you happy. Shit, if I had that much money, I'd probably do stuff to my body. Like, it's tempting not to, especially when you live in LA and you're famous. I imagine the pressure to look perfect is probably insane, but like, come on, at least own up to it and be honest about it, you know? Like, I mean, you don't have to go around telling everybody, but when people ask you about it, don't deny it. Especially because you know that you have a lot of young girls that look up to you and people are naive. And when you say, oh no, this is natural, I did this or that, they're really gonna believe you. And then they're gonna get caught up comparing themselves. And then they're gonna hate themselves because they're never gonna be able to look like that because unless you have the same surgeon, it's not gonna happen. And like Kylie, oh my God, like, are you really? Look at the before and after pictures, come on. Yeah, you get older, your face, your body changes a little bit, but not that drastically. Like, come on now. By the way, I was just going along doing my thing. I wasn't even saying what I was doing. So I just cut my crease with concealer and then I applied the shade Sun Kissed on the inner half of my lid. And then I put Mimosa Mommy on the outer part of the lid. And then I was just kind of like blending that rise and grind crease color. I really love these neon colors. It's like so different from what I usually do. Okay, so now before I finish the eyes, I'm gonna just go and do my base makeup. I have these little samples of the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I was actually wearing this the other day in one of my Instagram stories and so many people were messaging me about that too, asking what foundation I was wearing. I just got these samples from Sephora. I ordered something online and um, I chose this as one of my free samples. And it came with four different shades, so I've just been kind of like mixing them together so that it matches me. And again, I'm not going anywhere. I'm literally just gonna wash this right off. So even if it's not a perfect match, that is totally fine. Why is it that every time I choose to film a video, my eyebrows like desperately need to be waxed? So I'm gonna take Mimosa Mommy, that bright coral, 
I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line, but focusing it just like on the outer half. And then I'm gonna take that bright orange and put it on the inner. And I'm keeping my baking powder down there so that it'll catch any of the fallout. And that way I can just like dust it right off. I have to say though, these shadows are like super pigmented, but they're not like really dusty. They don't have a crazy amount of fallout. And then I'm gonna mix Rise and Grind and Creamsicle, those crease shades, and I'm gonna just kind of run that right underneath both of those. All right, now I'm gonna dust this powder away. I wanna keep this eye look pretty matte, but these shimmers in here are so gorgeous. So I wanna just do a pop of shimmer in the inner corner. So I think I'm gonna do Squeeze Me right there. I really love the shade in the center, Clementine. I know online it says that it's not intended for the eye area, which doesn't make, like this is an eyeshadow palette. I think like the actual sparkles are just really thick. And so if they get in your eye, they can cut your eye is what I've heard. But I'm gonna just do it anyway. I'm just gonna tap a little bit in the outer corner. Like I said, I'm literally, oh God, don't get in my eye. Ah! Oh my God, it's so pretty. Like I said, I'm not going out anywhere. I'm just washing this right off. So I'm just being very careful about placing it. I love that pop. Oh my God. Then I'm gonna take some mascara. As you guys know, I have eyelash extensions. This is actually for eyelash extensions. It's safe for them. This is by the brand Glad Lash, I believe, or distributed by them, I don't know. I'll find it online and then I'll link it for you guys in the description. I'm just gonna put a little bit just on the tip of my eyelash extensions just to kind of like make them pop a little bit against all of the shadow. If I didn't have the extensions, I would definitely do false lashes with this look. I don't put mascara on my lashes often, but when I do, I just focus it on the tips. I don't like to put it on the base where they're actually attached. I'm applying a little bit of this to the bottom lashes as well. So now I just have to finish off the rest of my base makeup. And then we will be done. But yeah, if you are finding yourself comparing yourself a lot on social media and getting like really caught up looking at like Instagram models and celebrities and stuff, there are actually these two pages that I follow. They post side by side photos of like Instagram models and celebrities. The photos that they post on Instagram versus like an unedited real life photo of them. Just to show that like, we all are human and I love that page because you see these girls in these photos and they look so airbrushed so perfect like barely even human like they look literally like angels like just flawless perfect body perfect face perfect hair everything and you just think to yourself like what the hell how do they look so good and I look like a potato like <laughs> you know but then when you see the regular, like real life unedited photos of them where they're not posing, it's not always just that they're photoshopping themselves, but sometimes, you know, like just the angles, like people know their angles. They know how to pose in a way that they look thinner. They look like they have a sharper jawline, a smaller waist, bigger hips, whatever. And then when you just see like the regular photos of them, it's like, oh wow, that's just like a normal human. Like, yeah, still a pretty girl, but you know, she looks more, <laughs> real she looks like someone that i would actually see in real life or sometimes you see pictures of them and you're like "Ooh, <laughs> that's what she really looks like by the way the bronzer i use is the nyx matte bronzer i have it in the shade deep tan and then i am applying the ColourPop super shock cheek matte blush in the shade no vacancy and then for highlight, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild one in the shade Precious Petals. It's super pretty. It's like not too much, but it's buildable. So if you wanna make it really intense, you can. For my lip color, this is another new product that I purchased when I got this palette. This is the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fuego. And then I'm just gonna to top that off with this e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Mocha Twist. And then I'm gonna spray my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist to just blur everything together. Now then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and gently 
pounce it all over. Just helps to melt everything together so it doesn't look too powdery or cakey. So this is the finished makeup look. What do you guys think? I love this eyeshadow palette. All of the other eyeshadow palettes that I own are more like neutral, toned down, wearable kind of colors. And I don't know, lately I've just really been wanting to try these bright neons and I love them. And that inner corner color, oh my God. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me rant. <laughs> if you could relate to any of the things I was talking about, let me know down below. Let's have a conversation, girl. If you like this video and you like the makeup look, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel before you go. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.